Greetings everyone. Manum Patra brings to you the news highlights of 20th February 2023. Starting with the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court has held that once the theory of last seen together is established by the prosecution, the accused is expected to offer some explanation as to when and under what circumstances he had parted the company of the deceased. The Supreme Court has disapproved the practice of Uttarakhand High Court of disposing of various criminal writ petitions by passing same format orders and observed that such approach of the High Court only borders the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court has clarified that its 2018 judgment in Joseph Shine striking down section 497 of IPC will not impact court martial proceedings initiated against personnel serving in the armed forces for adulterous conduct and stated that it is not as if this court approved of adultery the court has held that prohibition on nominated members exercising the right to vote in terms of section 3 sub clause 3 sub clause b sub clause 1 of delhi municipal corporation act 1957 shall apply to the first meeting where the mayor and the deputy mayor are to be elected the honorable supreme court while observing that the court cannot start with the presumption of regulatory failure has stated that it shall pass orders to constitute an expert committee to review the regulatory mechanism in the light of the adani hindenburg issue news highlights from the high courts starting with the delhi high court the delhi high court while issuing guidelines for cases where an inmate or convict sustains work related injuries in prison has observed that justice for inmates who have suffered disability due to injury that is work related in prison have the fundamental right to get justice and compensation as per law the high court has observed that decision taken by the delhi government to hold compensation of ex gratia payment of rupees 1 crore to wife of 28 year old constable amit kumar who passed away during the first wave of covid-19 while performing his duties wife's case is prima facie not tenable news highlights from other high courts in the country The Bombay High Court while observing that constitutional guarantee is unconditional and unequivocal and must be enforced regardless of shortcomings in the scheme of GST enactment has held that GST enactment cannot be interpreted so as to deny right to carry on trade and commerce to any citizen. The Election Commission of India has recognized Eknath Shinde group as official Shiv Sena and allowed them to use official bow and arrow symbol and Shiv Sena's name. This concludes the news for today. Thank you so much.